Coffee. Coffee. What's in black? Hey guys, how you doing? It's your man Tim Black. Welcome to Coffee with Tim Black. Get yourself some Tim Black coffee. Go to TimBlackTV.com. Try it out. It's good for the holidays. Have you heard the one about the white nationalist that became chief strategist for a president in the United States? Oh, man, this is hilarious. You guys are going to love it. Check it out. Steve Bannon, the former chairman, and he may still be the chairman of Breitbart News, has become chief strategist for Donald Trump. You remember Breitbart News, right? Yeah, that's the website that promotes Islamophobia and homophobia and black people phobia or white people's phobia to black people. That's their website. Oh, man, this is going to be great. Just what we need, another bigot in the White House. Well, he's down the, down the hallway from Donald Trump just doing his thing. Well, he will be if, if, if Donald Trump keeps his words. And if we can't stop him, that's what's going to happen. You're going to have this bigot in the White House. Isn't that great? Just love it. Some of you don't know who Steve Bannon is, so let, allow me to elaborate a little bit about this guy's pedigree. In his own words, he says, we're not racist. We are unapologetically embracing a new identity of politics that prioritizes the interests of our own demographic. Isn't that just a fancy way of saying it's the white way or the highway? White guys, white guys, rule. Man, I would never understand how these white nationalists come to their conclusions. You know, they think that white people aren't in power in the United States. If white people aren't in power in the United States, who's in power in the United States? It can't be black folks. Who, who is? Who, who are these people? Who is the invisible evil that you speak of, sir? Neo-Nazis and 1488ers are part of his readership pool. That's his demographics. Neo-Nazis and 1488ers and skinheads. That's like, that makes the Klan look like, I don't know, freedom bus riders or something. <laughs> These guys are horrible. This is the guy you picked, Donald Trump? And I don't want to hear people saying Trump owes this guy a favor. Someone said that, you know. Trump's just paying back a favor to a friend. This is his friend? This is a friend. Come on. Come on. And I know what some of you are thinking. See, Tim, we should have chose Hillary. No. No, we shouldn't have chose Hillary. No. Our choices should not be a guy who would uh, appoint a, a skinhead as his chief strategist, and a woman who's got a lot of skin in the game when it comes to Wall Street and ph big pharmaceuticals and, and, and stealing money from Haiti and, and super predators and taking money from private prison firms. Like, those are not, that can't be the only choices. That can't be it. And then you get mad at people like me who didn't vote for either one of these people. See, Tim, that's what you get. You should have voted for Hillary. Love the devil you know. No. No, they're against gay rights, civil rights, women's rights. In fact, the only right they're for is gun rights. That's right, gun rights. Yes, you got a right to own a gun, but not the right to go to school where you want. You got a right to own a gun, but not the right to marry who you want. You got the right to own a gun, but not the right to choose what you want to do with your own body. That ain't right. Alex Jones, Paul J. Watson, and Roger Stone are big fans of this guy. No, I think with the Bannon situation, Alex, there was a headline in Bloomberg Business Week um, back in October. This man is the most dangerous political operative in America. That was before he was even officially on board with the Trump campaign. And you know this why? He's influential, he's smart, and he basically sounds like yeah. Alex Jones. Well, that's why this I had to send out on tweet a congratulations, Steve Bannon. They love him. They even had the Lou Rawls playing. You'll never find... A white nationalist like mine. Someone who'll kick out the Mexicans and the blacks too. If Trump 
proceeds with like nominating guys like Steve Bannon, this will unite the rest of the country in a way that is unprecedented. It is time for that to happen. It is time for us to throw off the shackles and the branding of conservatism, progressivism, moderates, liberals, and all of that. Throw that out the window and be united against a a a a a. a, a like oppressor, an oppressor we can all relate to and we can all identify as being the true enemy. And if that person turns out to be Donald Trump, then so be it. I know you may think it's a little early in the game for me to come to that conclusion, but I'm going to tell you this. If he appoints skinheads as chief strategist, they have his ear, then he won't have mine. And I will do everything I can to put out content after content to pummel him. That's right, guys. We'll form Voltron against this guy, if need be. We'll form Voltron against the powers that be. People like Giuliani, it's not looking good. Giuliani and Bannon and, and, and Sheriff Clark? Oh, no, I can't, I can't take it. I can't take it. Can't deal with it. Won't stand for it. So I hope that hopefully that you guys will see it in your hearts to band with other folks who may vote differently than you at, um, from time to time, who may have certain disagreements with you on social issues, to realize we got to form Votron on this, and let's, let's treat this, this, this garbage, which is Bannon. Bannon is a walking turd with the gift of speech. And I don't want any people talking about he's courageous, he's a workaholic, he's just an alcoholic. Just like Alex Jones, who supports him. And in, in fact, you, I want you to watch that video where he goes on and on about how great Bannon is. I hate to say I agree with Glenn Beck, but I do. This guy is horrible, horrifying. It's terrible. So, yeah. So there's that. Let's treat these, uh, these uh, abominations to, to unity as the aliens they are and unite to fight them once and for all. And stop being separated by class, race, gender, religion. This has been Coffee with Tim Black. Do me a favor. Go to TimBlackTV.com. Get yourself some coffee. And like I always say, don't you let no skinhead take your cornbread. Something like that. Coffee.